hello everyone welcome to clean coder youtube channel so if you are watching this channel or this video for the first time i highly recommend you to please subscribe my channel to get all the latest updates as i post the new tutorials so today we are going to solve read code problem number 45 jump game 2 so there is also a problem jump game one whose tutorial i have already put on my channel so i'll highly recommend doing that problem first and uh, you can attempt this problem after attempting that so let's move to the lead code to understand the problem statement uh, in more depth so it says given an array of non-negative integer nums we are initially positioned at the first index of the array each element in the array represents your maximum jump length at that position and our goal is to reach the last index in the minimum number of jumps and we can assume that uh, we are always able to reach the last index so the so the difference between jump game 1 and jump game 2 is that in jump game 1 we were supposed to tell only the feasibility like whether we will be able to reach the end of the uh, array or not and in jump game 2 uh, that is given that that is already given that we will be able to reach the last index like test cases are designed such that last index would always be reachable but just that uh, we are supposed to return the minimum number of jumps with which uh, we are able to reach the last index okay so these examples will be going uh, over the whiteboard let's check the constraints first so nums dot length is between 1 to 10 to power 4 and nums of i is between 0 to 1000 so everything is in the end range let's move to our whiteboard to understand the problem in more depth so uh, first of all uh, i am going to explain you uh, the brute force solution uh, don't worry like uh, you will be able to understand uh, my code directly like it is uh, really really uh, written in a simple way so if you are coming from jump game one you will be directly able to relate this code as i have explained this code there in great depth i'll be doing a walkthrough in this video also like to explain this uh, solution in more depth so there is a nums array given to us this is the nums array assuming okay and aux array i am making of same length this is the aux array okay so rs dot fill aux integer dot max value i am filling the uh, maximum positive value in this array aux so aux of zero is zero i am making this okay so i would be at this position initially so i am entering this for loop and i am entering the inner for loop now so now j would start from i plus one j would start from here and this mat dot minimum is such that it it won't allow it won't allow to uh, overflow uh, from this uh, array as well as it won't allow to exceed this number like j would vary between this and this only because uh, this the these are the two next elements from i so j would uh, vary just between that so what this says is in the first iteration uh what would happen is uh aux of j so here uh what would come mat dot minimum aux of j aux of j is initially infinity so aux of i is zero zero plus one so if we take minimum of these two uh, the answer would be one so i need to put one here okay so let me clean this up and uh, i'll put a uh, one here okay so one would come here so in the next iteration j would move to the next position and uh, what i'll be doing is that i'll be finding minimum of uh, aux of j which is infinity and aux of i plus one so zero plus one again this would be one so uh, again one would come here i'll also erase this okay at this moment uh, what would happen is inner for loop would complete its execution and i'll increment i and j both okay so what would happen is uh, i would come at the next index I would come here and what j would come is j would cover these three elements okay j first of all would be here 
so i need to find minimum of ox of j is 1 comma ox of i plus 1 ox of i plus 1 is 2 so uh, 2 minimum of 1 and 2 is 1 so this would remain 1 only and i'll increment j to next position so j would come here so again i'll find minimum so minimum of ox of j is infinity comma ox of i plus 1 okay 1 plus 1 2 so minimum of infinity and 2 is 2 so 2 would come at the position of index j okay 2 would come here okay now similarly for the uh, j would increment to the next position j would come here so again i need to find the minimum so minimum of uh, ox of j is infinity comma uh, ox of i plus 1 2 again it would be 2 so 2 would come here okay 2 would come here now I'll move I to next position okay I would come here okay and J would come here now what would happen is whenever uh, you are going to compare ox of j with ox of i uh, plus one okay let's say uh, okay so the range under my consideration would only be this one so let's do that ox of j is matter minimum ox of j two comma ox of i plus one one plus one so minimum of these two is again two so its value is not going to change okay again i would increment and so will j okay i would come here and j would come here again this is only under consideration so I need to calculate minimum of ox of j which is 2 and ox of i plus 1 which is 3. So again values won't change. So this is the uh, values obtained after completing this iteration. Okay. So in all these uh, dry runs the value given in the last index is kind of immaterial. You can ignore this because this is our destination. And we won't be leaving this so this value is uh, not useful so in the aux array the last value which you get this is actually the minimum number of steps required to reach here okay so this is two in this case uh, which is our answer so let's check the time and space complexity for this solution so time complexity is o of n square and space complexity is o of n now let's move to uh, another solution which is slightly uh, graph oriented okay so what what i have done is like from the uh, previous uh, solution from the previous brute force solution you have already noticed that we are doing something similar to bfs okay so what we can do is uh, we can transform this this problem to a graph based problem also okay so what i meant to say by graph based problem is that like this is the array so you can consider the indexes as nodes the zeroth node is the first node the second the third is fourth node okay and uh, two places forward means zero can go to one and two so you can make edges accordingly and for one three places forward okay so this way you can make this a uh, DAG kind of uh, graph but uh, this is not a uh, weighted graph this is uh, not weighted graph so one observation which you can use to calculate the uh, minimum uh, number of edges to reach from this source to this destination is that uh, 
you can use bfs for finding the minimum number of edges between source and destination so let me show you the code uh, with which i have solved this problem with uh, the graph analogy so i won't be going through this uh, solution in depth because like uh, this is a graph bfs kind of thing so we can ignore this for the moment and we can cover this part in the graph tutorial separately so i have just added the solution for the sake of completion of this tutorial uh, but feel free to try run this uh, solution on some example and you'll get what i am trying to say so let's also discuss time and space complexity of this solution so time complexity is o of n square or o of e into v e is edges of a graph v is vertices so space complexity is again o of n which we can write in other words as o of edges plus vertices so this is the second solution which i wanted to talk about and let's discuss the most optimized solution like this is a really 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 great solution uh, which i which i would uh, like to explain like let's get started uh, first so this is the jump function and this is the array given to us okay let's dry run this on uh this example i have already written our test case and i have written the variables used here so jumps is initially zero current end is initially zero and current farthest is also zero so initially i would be at i equal to zero let's start the iteration uh, current farthest would be mat dot maximum current farthest is initially zero comma i plus a of i so i plus a of i is nothing but two so doing maximum of this is current farthest would become two okay so i is double equal to current end yes current end is also zero and i is also zero so we'll enter this in a ref so what would do is uh, it would increment the jumps so jumps would now become one and current end would become current farthest so this would become two so let's uh, move our pointer to the next position now we are at this index okay let's uh, again uh, start our computation or iteration so current farthest would now be a uh, maximum of current farthest which is 2 and i plus a of i which is uh, 4 so max maximum of both is 4 so current farthest would be 4 now and i is not equal to current end so this if would won't execute so let's move to the next iteration okay so i've reached here so again uh, i'll compute uh, current farthest which is matter maximum current farthest current farthest is 4 comma i plus a of i which is 3 current farthest is again 4 only and uh, i is equal to current end now okay i is also pointing to 2 current end is also pointing to 2 so what would happen is we will come inside the if block so now uh, jumps would increment jumps would be 2 and current end would be current farthest so current end would also become 4 let's uh, move to the next iteration now okay so now uh, i'll compute uh, uh, current farthest uh, like max current farthest is 4 and i plus a of i is also 4 so maximum is 4 only and uh, i is equal to current end no i is 3 current end is 4 so we are not going to go inside this uh, if block now this is all uh, with what would happen like last element is I have already told you you don't need to take it under consideration moreover it is a dot length minus one and it is less than so our algorithm would finish here and uh, number of jumps which is required to reach the end is two now uh, you would argue like uh, like this is a really really cool solution but let me tell you the intuition behind this solution is taken from the previous graph based solution only so in graph based solution we were doing bfs so uh, like the bfs there is actually done here 
but like in a really cool way like it didn't really strike me uh, first also like i referred uh, the lead code community for the solution but i found this solution really cool that i wanted to cover this in my tutorial so in fact i have added a disclaimer also that credit for this solution goes to lead code community yep, this is a really cool solution so let's understand the time and space complexity trade-off for this solution so time complexity is pretty straightforward we are only doing a single parse of our input array so time complexity is o of n and space complexity is also straightforward we are not using any extra uh, auxiliary array and we are doing all the computations uh, in variables so space complexity is o of 1 so this was all uh, i wanted to talk about uh, for this problem so if you like my tutorial please subscribe to my channel clean coder it gives a lot of motivation to me when someone subscribes my channel and uh, it motivates me to make new tutorials and simplify the lead code problems further so thanks a lot for watching this video